So there's one other thing to talk about while we're here in the context of uh, magnetic fields and charged particles. So hopefully by now we've seen that magnetic fields are exert magnetic forces are exerted on charged particles moving in a magnetic field such that the force is always, always, always perpendicular to the velocity of the particle. So if this is the velocity of the particle, I'll leave off the magnetic field. Um, this will be the force. And we've seen in the last video that if the velocity vector changes, that is to say if it is accelerated such that it changes direction, uh, which it will be if this is the only force acting on it, right? Uh, if that's the case, then the velocity vector never speeds up, never slows down, it just changes direction. So if the magnetic force is acting on it, whatever this particle is, never changes speed. Definitely changes velocity, never changes speed. There's a couple ways to see the very, very important outcome of that. Let me go through the, the calculus for the first one. F dot dl is equal to work. This is an equation you should have seen in physics one. F dot dl is equal to the work done on a particle by uh, the force F, where dl is the path over which you are integrating this force. The dot product though, recall, picks out any parallel components dot product of orthogonal vectors is exactly zero. So, in this case, if the only force doing, not, if the only first force acting on this particle, no, it doesn't matter what, how crazy DL is, if that's the actual path of the particle, at every point in that path, the magnetic force is perpendicular to the path. I, this isn't the path, this is the velocity, but you might be able to convince yourself that the velocity vector is always pointed in the direction of the path of the particle. That could be some crazy path, but it's always pointed. That is to say, V and DL are always, always, always parallel. They have to be. That's, how, that's just how the universe works. If you're moving in a certain direction, your velocity is pointed in that direction. So at every point along this integral, every point along DL, the force, the magnetic force, is perpendicular to the displacement. What that means is that if this is the magnetic force, magnetic forces do no work. That's really, really interesting. It's also very counterintuitive. You will find situations, especially if you go on to study electromagnetism, where it seems crazy to deny that the magnetic force is doing work, but we have to deny it because this is pretty incontrovertible. Uh, F dot DL is always zero if F and DL are perpendicular. The other way to think about that is to remember the work energy theorem. Work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. How does the kinetic energy change? The speed changes. This is not a vector equation. Changing in, the change of velocity does not matter. The change in speed is what matters. And we've already seen that because the force is acting perpendicular to the velocity, the speed never changes. The direction of this will change, the speed will never change. So delta K is always zero due to magnetic forces. Therefore, the, mag the work done by the magnetic force is zero. Magnetic forces do no work. That's an incredibly important result that just falls out of this very strange quality that this has of always acting perpendicular to the velocity.